everyone, it's MK. So today I'm back to talk to you a little bit about a function that I use when I'm working within simulation, especially when I'm doing my layouts. So if you follow me on maybe my Pinterest page or the work that I post in the Pro Stitcher Sim Style Facebook group, you will notice that I like to capture pictures, or I call them renderings, of the quilt layouts that I'm working on. And one of the ways that I get those layouts to be so precisely laid out is by using my alignment functions. I use that in combination with areas. A lot of times I'm using multiple areas. Now I don't mean multiple areas at one time, because we know that we can only have one area that we're working with at any one given time. But I use a combination of groupings, of maybe groupings of blocks or groupings of sashings, and I use my alignment functions to get those placed within the area that I'm working on. So today we're gonna work on a very simple layout. It's one that I was using for a student of mine for an online class. It's a very simple block to block layout with a couple of sashings and just one border treatment. So I'm gonna walk you through a few hints and techniques for that, and then I'll come back here to wrap it up. So I'm gonna meet you inside of simulation. Let's get started. All right, everyone, here we go. We're gonna be talking about alignment in this session, and I wanna point out a couple of things. Again, as a reminder, my pointer is red, your pointer inside of simulation is probably not. I'm also using a line drawing to simulate what the project is that we're working on. Please remember that this is just a visual. This is nothing that I plan to stitch. All right, so let's talk about how I approach my layout and rendering. I have a project in mind. Here is my three block table runner. I want to create three blocks to fit inside of here and I want those blocks to be ready to stitch when I get to my quilt. I want to create two sashing units and I want those to be ready to stitch when I get to my quilt. Same with my borders. So I usually start on the inside and work my way out. So let's start with the block first. We'll do a file open and here's the block that we've created or that I've selected. Betty's Feather Block 6. It's a beautiful Christy Dillon design. Remember, when we're in simulation, if things pop off the screen, we're going to do select, select all, and come over here and hit refresh. Now remember, folks, I'm going to keep this going at a pretty good clip because I try to keep my videos short. And remember, you can always contact me on an individual basis to take one of my classes so that I can slow down a little bit and just spend the time with you that you need. Okay, let's look at our Betty Feather block. Let's evaluate how big it is. Well, this particular one is exactly the size that it needs to be. So we don't have to make any adjustments. If we did, we would go down to our resize function. All right, so we know that if we wanted to, to be able to move this block into position, we could use the drag and drop feature. We could select drag, we could come back, select our block, click hold, and drag it to where it needs to be. But when I use my simulator for layout and rendering, I like that to be a little bit more precise than what I can get it by using drag and drop. So I'm going to use the alignment function. And remember, alignment relates to area. So the first thing I need to do is create an area that encompasses this inside area of my quilt. So I'm going to select area. I've already predetermined that that area is 38 inches wide by 12 inches high. That's the inside area of my quilt. All right, now things are not properly aligned within that area. So I'm going to go to my select button and I'm going to start aligning things one at a time inside of that area. Let's start by unselecting multiple so that we just have our single box selected and let's start with our three block table runner line drawing and let's just align it center horizontally and center vertically. Then let's go select our Betty Feather block. 
Now, before we align this, let's think about the fact that we need three of these. So there's a few different ways that we could do it, but I'm going to take a shortcut and I'm just going to repeat this block three times. And then I'm going to evaluate, well, that's three blocks, but they're not the right distance apart. I know my sashings are one inch, so I'm going to manually make my distance apart one inch. I'm going to go to Align, and I'm going to align that both horizontally and vertically to the center. I'm going to select all and refresh. And there, very quickly, I've created for myself repeated blocks that are just there so that I can get a visual, a layout and a rendering of this project that I'm working on. The block, the Betty block, was already 12 inches in height and width, so I didn't have to make any adjustments on that. The next steps, I'm going to be using patterns that I have already created. I'm going to be using a sashing that I've pre-created and a border that I've pre-created. In other sessions, we'll be talking about how to create and repeat those border units. I'm going to do File, Open, and I'm going to select the sash that I've created. Now, I'm going to treat this much like the way that I just did the blocks. I have two sashes, so I'm going to go to Repeat. I'm going to repeat it to two. I know the distance apart because I know how big this block is. I'm going to make the distance 12. I'm going to align that into the center, both vertically and horizontally. And I think that you can see where this is going. I'm just creating each one of my units, and I'm determining what's the best way to do that. This is a very small project, and I can accomplish my layout and rendering by using the repeat function and the alignment function. In other layouts that I do, in other quilts I'm working on, I create the layouts in different ways. I use repeat sometimes, I use duplicate sometimes, and I use a number of other things that we can go in in other examples. As I phase out and close out this video, I'm going to do the exact same thing that I just did here. I'm going to create an area for the outside area of my quilt, and I'm just going to let you watch through that as the music comes on, and I'm hoping that you can take what you've learned in this really quick snippet and apply it to a quick, easy layout of your own project. Thanks for joining me today, folks. Happy quilting! small voice cries out to my soul, come, come my love, come my sister, my beloved, come my dove, my perfect one, and my heart sings. Just a few blocks, some sashing, and a border. Creating those units, grouping them together, and using our alignment functions to place them exactly where they need to be. I hope this has been helpful, and until next time, everyone, from my studio to yours, happy quilting. Bye-bye.